A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are often the big things. It is never being too old to old hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. At no time is it taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with a honeymoon. It should continue throughout all the subsequent years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation, in demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting your husband to wear a halo or your wife to have the wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding and a sense of humour. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which independence is mutual and obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. I, Jake Anthony Sherville, take you, Jessica Skinner, to be my wedded wife. I, Jessica Skinner, take you, Jake Anthony Sherville, to be my wedded husband. Your marriage begins here. We hope that the feelings of love that you clearly have for one another will deepen and grow even stronger throughout the years to come. It gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Um, I'm not a great fan of being the centre of attention and whenever I've talked to Jess about today she's always taken great delight in telling me that all eyes will be on her throughout the day. Um, so please feel free to uh, keep looking at her. Um, so, the reason I want to couple up with this girl is because... <laughs> I could stand here all night and give you examples of the times that Jess has shown me what an amazing person she is. She's kind, considerate, funny, always willing to do anything for anyone. Um, and not only does she look amazing today, uh, she's one of a kind and to me she looks amazing every day. myself thinking that Jess deserves better than me but by some miracle she loves me and she's never wanted me to be anything other than myself. I know I'm probably not always the most thoughtful or the most caring but I do know that I'll spend our time together trying to make sure she's as happy as possible. Jess, you look absolutely stunning, and Jake is a very lucky man. Jess is a very kind, considerate, caring, loving, clever, hard-working girl, and of course, it goes without saying, we are extremely proud of her. I 
was lucky to bump into Jess the night we met. Lucky that she followed me to McDonald's that night. <laughs> it's my speech. Um, lucky that we exchanged numbers. Lucky that she bought me 20 chicken nuggets. And even luckier when she let me keep the change. Yeah, thank you. That was the exact moment that I realised she was a keeper, which was about 20 minutes after I'd met her. Um, I was then lucky to get her to agree to go on a first date and I feel incredibly lucky that I get to stand here now and call her my wife. So please join me in raising a glass to my wife.